Hey girls, so I wanted to show you guys my perfume collection today and there's not a lot of it. It's mostly body sprays, not really a collection, it's just perfumes that I own. And I don't really use all of them, I mostly just use one. But I kind of want to go through them and describe each scent to you guys. And ultimately I'll end up showing you guys the perfume that I love and use on an everyday basis. So I'm going to get started. So, the first one that I want to share with you guys, not that one, is this one. This is by Victoria's Secret. Um, Sheer Fragrance Mist, Girls Night, Flirty Peony, and Water Lily. This smells amazing. It smells like summer or spring. It smells like spring, clean air, um, kind of flowery. It's very nice scent. Um, I remember going into Victoria's Secret, I bought this like a year ago, and they give you like, this is our new fragrance, and they spray it on this little paper, and they're like, would you care to try? And I'd smell it, and most of them I was like, yeah, they're good, but this one I was like, yeah, this is nice, what is this? And I was like, I need this, I want this, I'm gonna get this. So I came back like a month later, hoping to find it, and I thought it would for sure be gone, but it was still there, and I bought it. And it, was, it wasn't that expensive since it is a fragrance mist, a body mist. It tends to be not as concentrated as the normal, regular and normal perfumes. <coughs> so I definitely love this and recommend it and it smells just wonderful. So the next one that I want to share is also by Vic Victoria's Secret. And it's from their Sexy Little Things um, collection and it's this fragrant mist that's called Sexy Little Things. And it smells good. Definitely smells sexy and sultry. The name says it all, but it has a hint of sweetness into it. So it's not completely overpowering because I know those, some of those um, fragrances that are like, oh, this is sweet, and you smell it, and it's like, whoa, super strong, overpowering. This is definitely not one of those, which I like. So definitely try this out. The next two that I wanted to try out are both vanilla scents. This is why I want to share them at the same time, not because they're the same brand. Um, the first one's this one. It's by Mary Kay. Creamy Frosted Vanilla Body Mist. I got this for Christmas from a friend of mine. And to be honest, I don't like it. I think it kind of smells soapy. I just don't like the smell of it. It smells like chemical, or not chemical. It just smells like kind of soapy. and I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely do not like this scent which kind of stinks because I usually love everything to do with vanilla especially the vanilla scent and um, it was a gift so the next one that I wanted to share with you is this one now this one is the better side of vanilla and the only problem that I had with this one was that it lasts about 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then it fades and then you have to reapply it and that tends to happen with both most body mists, they don't really last you the whole day like normal perfumes do because they're definitely watered down and diluted. So that was the only issue with this one, but it smells really, it's called Pure, it's from Pure Spring Vanilla Cream Body Mist, and it definitely smells like that, vanilla cream. So I probably got this, I don't even know where I got this, I probably got it at uh, the, the drugstore, gas station, I haven't really heard of the brand or name or anything, so yeah. The next one is this. This is a brand new bottle. And I've used it a couple times, but I had a old bottle of this, which is the Sweet Pea um, Fragrance Mist. It's from Bath and Body Works, or yeah, Bath and Body Works. And um, I, back in the day, not back in the day, a couple, like two years back, I had the Sweet Pea body lotion, the Sweet Pea shower gel, and to top it off, I would use the Sweet Pea fragrance mist, and it was just the whole trio, and I just loved showering myself in Sweet Pea because um, it, smelled, it smells amazing. It's very sweet. Um, it's kind of like their signature scent. Definitely very, definitely a very good smelling scent. So, um, I haven't been using this even though I re-got it um, because I got it actually this winter in December um, 
because it was only, it was like a, they were, Bath and Body Works was having their annual, like, final end of the year sale that was huge, and it was like a dollar, so decided to get it again, <laughs> even though I'm not really using it because I'm kind of into this other perfume that I'll show you later on. So I'm going to share you with you guys these two at the same time. They are nameless, but I wanted to share them because they're a part of my collection, even though I did not use them. Um, whoa. <laughs> um, I've had both of these since middle school, and they were the um, fragrance that I would keep in my gym locker. And after gym, I would apply it so that I didn't smell like B.O. And um, so these are the two that I would use. This one smells awesome. It smells like preppiness, kind of, I don't know, I don't really know how to describe it. I really like this scent a lot, and um, I have like nothing left, as you can see, but small bottle, um, and it's from American Eagle, Rider Perfume, Rider Perfume, and this one doesn't for sure not have a name, and I hate this scent. It smells like candy, but like really bad candy. <laughs> um, it kind of smells dirty and gross, so I don't like this. Maybe it's because like I remember after gym how I smelled like this and I felt so uncomfortable because I was sweaty, but I really don't like this and I don't know why I went like a whole year of gym class wearing it, but I did. Alright, so the next one is this one. This one is also since middle school because I remember on my 13th or 14th birthday my friend gave me this and it smells Amazing. It smells like cotton candy is the perfect description and this is super strong So you put it on and like you smell from miles away and I would also Keep this in my gym locker and for after gym I'd spray it on and everyone was like can I have some can I have some and like I'll take from me Because this just smells that good and it had like this little round bulb for a cap And I lost it because I have a little sister who is three at the moment and she would always go into my room and take all my stuff and I'd get so mad and one day she lost my little cup. This is nameless actually so it's really nameless. I also have the um, Eau de Star. It's Star Perfume by this, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. It's the same guy that makes the Angel Perfume. And it smells like a virgin of a virgin of angel. Very strong, seductive, sexy. It smells cute, and I like it. Literally gone. So I have to go get another bottle of this. It was like, not sure how much, but it's called Star. Next one is this juicy perfume, and it's called Couture Couture. I'm sure you've heard of it. Couture Couture, and it. To be honest, I don't like how it smells. I guess I liked how it smells. It smells like when I first bought it, but now I don't like it. It smells like old lady. Um, so that's why I don't have that much left. And yeah, it smells like old lady. I don't like how this smells. I don't know why I purchased it. I don't know what was running through my head, but um, I don't like it. And it stinks because, I don't know, it's a cute bottle. So I wanted to like it, but I didn't perfume is this one. I got this a whole year ago for my 14th birthday. My cousins gave it actually two whole years ago for my 18th, 14th birthday. Yeah, right. Um, because my 15th birthday was last year. So, um, Vera Wang Princess it smells amazing. It smells so good and I feel like a princess when I wear this. Mm -mm. It's kind of a soft but strong smell at the same time. Can't really describe it. Sort of sweet, sort of sexy and bold. Um, I recommend this one. Definitely love it. And the packaging is the cutest. And I also have like a little roll-on bar that came with like the slip gloss, so I would wear it wherever I went. Um, so definitely a cute option. Oh, and also comes with like this which I guess if you're like that you could use it as a ring but it's definitely not comfortable like normal rings are and then it comes with like a real ring right here I think this is a ring you could just put it on I'm a queen born wild at Hardy this is a sample perfume that I got for Christmas my cousin gave it to me and it smells good bottom line it smells like candy like um candy yeah so anyway, um, 
the perfume that I use of all time is this one. It's the Viva La Juicy. Yeah, I know everyone uses it. Um, <clears throat> I have this little bottle right here, which is literally gone. Um, and that was my first bottle of Viva La Juicy. And then I have this. And for Christmas, this Christmas, my cousin, he gave me this perfume. And I was like, ugh, why are people giving me perfume? I do not need perfume. I already have perfume, which was this one. But this one, surprisingly enough, I put it off for like, like a couple weeks. And then I just decided to like try it on. And it smells exactly like this one, which is so weird because I don't know. But it smells, this one, the... Victoria's Secret Sexy Little Things Noir Tea Noir Noir Teas perfume. I mean body mist. This smells exactly like this except less strong, less it's diluted. Um and this one doesn't last as long as this one would, but it smells exactly the same, so now I wear them at the same time, and it's like not a total waste of perfume. And I was really, really happy about it. And I was like, Mom, smell this, and I was like sister Kiki smell this and she was like wow it does smell exactly like it so the description of this is the same description of this so it's pretty cool this or buy this it's the cheaper version of this so that's my whole perfume collection nothing big nothing fancy mostly body mists um but I'm thankful for what I have for now and um I don't know I just really like um this perfume and besides the packaging is totally cute and it came with this and I have a haul video on it if you want to check that out when I first bought it I made a video because I had gone shopping I would love to see you guys your guys's um perfume collection because if I ever get sick of this one which is completely possible I might want to buy another perfume that's going to be my signature perfume and I would watch your video to find out which one I want to want get so just tell me um just make a video response or post your video response if you already have one out there i love you guys all and have an amazing day